can be a moment of light to another. And that another's light will be a moment for us. Take a moment. Look around. Look at the person beside you. Come on. Look at the person beside you. Today, this morning, we surround ourselves with those who give their hearts to hope. And Easter has come again. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Hallelujah. I know we can do better than that. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. Hallelujah, Christ is risen indeed. Oh, oh golly, this is Molly, when's the last time? I know some of you haven't been here since last Easter. Okay. <laughs> this is very Hallelujah, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Okay, here we go. Hallelujah. That's my car. You're here every Sunday. Hallelujah. Christ is risen. Bestowed upon us forgiveness of sins. Keep us in eternal life by, by his grace in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. You ready? This is the baptismal order from last evening. <laughs>
A reading from Paul's letter to the Colossians. If you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Please stand for the sequence in number 205. Suddenly Jesus met them and said, Greetings. 
And they came to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. And then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee, for there they will see me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Lord Christ. Sometimes, 
almost forgetting how wondrous the world is and how miraculously kind some people can be. And have you two decided that probably nothing important is ever easy? Not say for the first 60 years. Hallelujah, I'm 60 now and even a little bit more. And some days I still feel I have wings. Now as most of you know, I just turned 60. <laughs> and just like my, just like Mary Oliver, I'm 60 in a few weeks, in, in one week old. But anyone who says that I am 60, frankly, is looking for a fight. I don't feel it, and so I'm told I don't look it. <laughs> All right, I guess we're not used to yet. But I'm not there yet. And thanks be to God, I know what Mary Oliver is talking about even now as I am a youngster. You see, Easter reminds me of how wondrous the world is, particularly on mornings like this, when everything seems not only possible, but really likely. It is no surprise that the literary giants of Christian scripture chose to have the women show up at the, at the tomb early in the morning. You see, I do love mornings. The earlier the better. And I can't understand why everyone doesn't like morning. Weeping may linger for the night, claims the psalmist, but joy comes in the morning. The tears in these faithful women's eyes, the catch in their throats, which could not be swallowed, were replaced with gaps, just gasps of fearful joy when it began to dawn on them that no death, no matter how much torture, no matter how deafening and final, could silence the joy in their hearts. They didn't get it. They didn't overthink it. They didn't judge it. But they felt it from head to toe. In my world, some may, may think this is boring, I don't, the world of the church, people spend years discussing the resurrection what it was, how it was, how it happened, what it means. Often the greatest joys in these discussions comes from the satisfaction, satisfaction of knowing that one side is right and one side is wrong. We do so love being right, don't we? I'd like to make a bold proclamation on this Easter day, 2015, in the most respectful way possible to you. I don't care what you think about the resurrection. I really want to care on some level, but I truly don't. But I do take care passionately as your priest about this. For you and for me, have you experienced the risen Christ in your life? Have I experienced the risen Christ in mine? Do we experience Christ today of all days? Can we release into the mystery of what we call God? our compulsions to know and to control everything. Can we simply say, just for today, thank you, God, for continuing to come to us through Christ, who somehow still lives and moves among us, transforming us slowly into the people that God knows we can Ours is a world and a church that desperately needs more people being transformed than people who are right. Ours is a faith that flourishes less as we get it, as we know it, and as we control it. And when we are just like a child, filled with the joy of Easter, the presence of God in the world that we sometimes suspect in our despair to be without God. There is just so much wrong in this world. Really, really, really wrong. But this is right. The moment of people gathering in a small church, searching for God, not making, well, not making, not most of us anyway, any extraordinary claims about what we know 
or what precisely is going to happen, but making a loud statement about hope. Hope that all that is to be in our lives and in the world as yet to come. Hope that each one of us. Good morning and happy Easter. Good morning. Just a couple of things. I don't mean I know you're on your way. There is coffee and a few snacks in the hall. If you would like to gather there afterwards, we'd love, love to have to speak with you and, and meet, be with you. Please read the Easter flowers and music uh, offerings and Thanksgiving and Memorial when you have a moment. Um, we do want to take care of two things. The first is thank yous. Uh, I want to first of all thank the St. John's Altar Guild. Getting this church and me all gussied up is not an easy task. Getting me all gussied up. Cindy Moritz was very kind enough. She was recently laid off from her job, and so she spent a couple of days this week actually uh, composing and formatting and all those computer words you use, uh, the orders of worship, and I want to thank her even though she's not here this morning. And lastly, last night we had about 25 of the uh, after-school program kids sing, sing here last night, this little light of mine. And that would not have come forward uh, without the wonderful direction and love of uh, Bridget Burke Rice, who's the executive director here in our community after school program. And I just want to embarrass Stephanie. Stephanie, come on, stand up. Stephanie is a product of St. John's after school program. How many years did you come here? Five, five or six years. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for coming this morning. We also have birthdays this morning. Um, I call, of course, first and foremost, Holly Carrion. Yes. Oh, thank you. Harley, come on up to Father Tim. And Mrs. Bush, Barbara Guthrie is in here. Uh, Paul out of, Jill, do you want to come up for Paul? No, no. no. <laughs> Spoken in a reserved English, English accent, no. <laughs> and, uh, and could I have Debbie Henschel for Buddy Henschel? Oh, buddy, oh, here, buddy, is, here. buddy Henschel's here. Buddy, buddy. come on. All right. Okay. If you will kindly turn to page, uh, I believe it's 830 in the prayer book. Hey, buddy. How are you? Good. Everybody, Buddy is our uh, is our active service person here at St. John's, and we pray for him each Sunday. Uh, come on, Bob. Get in there. Could you take a step in towards your mama for one second? Thank you. Can you stay here? And so it's Buddy, Harley, and Barbara. And we turn to page 830. And we will, uh, because it says, watch over thy child, we'll use that one for you. Okay? So, okay. So it's watch over thy children, O oh Lord. Okay? And for that. So prayer number 51 on page 830. Buddy. Harley and Bob. Okay? Watch, watch over thy children, O Lord, as their days increase. Bless and guide them wherever they may be. Strengthen them when they stand. Comfort them when discouraged or sorrowful. Raise them up if they fall. And in their heart may thy peace, which passes understanding, abide all the days of their lives. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And may the peace that passes all understanding guide and keep you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Keep you safe. Amen. 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 Thank you. Come on. My plane leaves at 3:30. <laughs> uh, I, I bring that up. I bring that up in a, in a funny way, only to reinforce that if you need me while I'm away, you simply call the church number, the 334-3655 number, which is forwarded into my cell phone, and I will check emails each morning. 
So if you need me, I can fly back home and be home in a few hours, okay? So I am still in charge of your souls while I'm away. <laughs> so be careful. <laughs> you know the expression when the cat's away? <laughs> All right, I'm keeping an eye on it. Uh, and in turn, as you know, since I've been here the two years at St. John's, when I leave the cure, when I leave Boone, I always ask for your prayer that I come back safely and to be your priest, as I love being your priest. Walk in love as Christ loves us and gave himself a sacrifice for all.
chiefly are we bound to praise you for the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. For he is the true Paschal Lamb, who was sacrificed for us, and has taken away the sin of the world. By his death he has destroyed death, and by his rising to life again, he has won for us everlasting life. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and the archangels, and with all the company of heaven, who will forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Children's service, everybody who had good behavior 
um, gets to lead the Our Father. So if you don't mind, Sean will lead us in the Our Father this morning. Abigail, do you want to help lead in the Our Father? Abigail's being very shy. <laughs> no? No? Her mom's like, you ready? Let's wait for Sean to start. You ready? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. got that new baby smell. <laughs> my sisters and my brothers, the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let's extend to one another a sign of God's peace. Peace be with you.
I would be calling Vilma. I think so. Um, but for even now, they snuck away and got married. Oh. Paul and Vilma, come on forward. Come on. Just when you just when you thought that uh, the hand of God was one that was all powerful and all knowing and tall. Uh, believe it or not, these two are high school sweethearts. <laughs> Paul keeps the picture in his wallet. <laughs> and, 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 and your iPhone, I, know. I think that's the one you showed me. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. And so let's bow our heads and have a good open heart for the goodness of these new in love married people. Fulfilling God's destiny for the last um, 10 years since high school? The last 10 years since high school. We'll just keep it with you. Yeah. Yeah. 10 <laughs> years since high school. Okay? For Paul and Vilma. Dearest Lord, we, want, we call upon you today to please call down and give your blessing to these two wonderful people who, after a good and solid lifetime of children and home, have now come together to fulfill their destiny in love with you. And so we ask you to please bless them. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with them, keep them, and let them be here at St. John so we can hug and love them. And a big rousing, the people say, Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Let's just woke up. <laughs> God bless you both. God bless you both. And one last one. Uh, how many years, Jim? Oh, I'm going to get you in trouble. <laughs> Was he, yet, was, was he yesterday? No, Thursday. Thursday. 26 years ago, last Thursday, in this church, at that altar. Right, Jimmy? No, actually, it was in the car. God knows we're not giving them a plug today. No, no, no. All right, 26 years ago. And we want to wish you 26 more of wonderful, wonderful happiness. And everything that you do for Boone, and for the, for the EMS community, and for the fire department community, and the wonderful, wonderful Sabakul love that you give to all of them. I love you all. Is there anything else? <laughs> Remember, coffee in the hall, do you want to hang out for a little bit? And I thank you very much for making this a tremendous Easter for me. Oh yeah, the Easter egg hunt is in the uh, in the garden um, after the service. Please stand as you're ready. Let us pray. Eternal God, <coughs> Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have fed us spiritually food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace, and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with kindness and sinless heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, Keep your hearts and your minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, descend upon you and those you love, and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.